Hello guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can render different cards or different components depending on which button you click on. This could be a button, a div, anything else. But if we click on button 2, this is going to render the second card. If we click the button 3, this is going to render the third card. And we're also not going to use React Router to achieve this. It's actually going to be really simple. We're only going to be needing one single state to do it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a card component here. And this card component is only going to have a single div and a paragraph right now. So this is going to be our starting card, just has a paragraph that says hello. So we need to import that card here. And we're going to display it three times. So for now, let's just put it in a div. So this is our card, and let's just copy paste that two more times. And also let's go to styles, let's remove this. Okay, just some basic styles so we can actually see the card. We don't need anything else for the styles. So in our app, like here, we have buttons on the top. So we can add those as well. So here we can make an app. And this is gonna have three buttons. And let's call it the same one, two, and three. Okay. So the first simple thing we can do here, we don't want to hard code this value right now. So we want to pass a prop called like title. And we want to set this text to be title. This way, we can pass the title prop to our separate card and make it different. So like, if we go back to app, we have access to the title since we passed it. And we can make this one, two, and three. So now, our, all of our cards have different titles. But how do we actually render the card once we click the button? So we're going to need to import the use state hook first here. And the only state we're going to need is going to help us keep the track of the active card right now. So we can just call it active or active card. And we're going to set this to a string. So we can give it a name here of, let's say, first card. So now, inside of this div, let's say we want, only want to show the first, this card right now. So our state that we made of active is set to first card. So we can check for that here. We can check if active is equals, equal to first card which it obviously is here, because we set it to that. And we can do and then operator, which is gonna check if this statement on the left is true. So if this is active to the first card, whatever we have after and end is gonna run. So in our case, we wanna render this card with title of one. 
so we can just cut it from here and paste it here. For our card 2 and 3, we can do the same thing, except we're gonna change this name to whatever we want. So, right now, let's paste that two times, let's remove these. So, let's call this second card. And title is 2, and let's call this third card. And the title is 3. So right now, only the first card is showing because our active state is the fir is first card. But if we change this to second card, we would see our card with the title 2, which is our second card showing. But we obviously don't want to change the state here. What we want to do is we want to be able to click on the button and change the cards based on that. So. If you go to the button here and you do Control, Alt and Down Arrow to select all three of them, we're going to be adding a simple click event, so we can do on click. And we can pass an uh, arrow function here. And we have the state of active, and if we want to update that state, we can use the set active function. So we can pass set active. And right now it's just going to be a string. So, for example, if we click the second button, we want to show the second card. And it's only showing if our state is equal to the second card. So we're going to copy-paste that here. We're going to do the same for the third card. And same for the first card. So how this works, for example, if we click the second card, the second button, which is 2, it's going to set this active class to second card here. So this becomes second card once we click the second button. Then this checks if our state is equal to that second card, which it is in this case, and it's going to render this card. So if we click the card 2, it's going to render the card with title 2. If we click the 3, it's going to render this one. Because this is now, this active becomes 3 or third card once we click on this button. So that's a simpler example of doing what we need. But I also want to show you another example of if we had, uh, let's say, three different arrays that we want to output or map through depending on which card we're on. So for that, we're going to make another component called data. And I'm just going to paste this. So data, we have export default and array, and then it has three arrays inside of it, and each array has an object with title and name. So let's import that data inside our app. And what we want to do, we want to have access to the data inside our card here. So we can pass this as a prop as well to all of our cards. So let me select all of them here and then we can do data equals and then we pass that component we added, which is just an array. So now inside our card, we can get to that data here. And what we need to do is we need to map, but we remember we have three arrays here. So let's just map over first array, which would be data zero inside our card. So I want to wrap this card in a div. Like that. So we make some space. And then here inside our div, we want to map over our data or data zero. So the first array. So if we do data zero dot map and let's say for each item and for each item we want to return this whole card we made. So since we are inside the map of this first array, we have title and we have the name. 
So for example, since we are inside the map, we can do instead of tidal, we can do island.tidal. And for the second thing, we can do item.name. So let's copy paste this one more time. We refresh this. Okay. So as you can see, our first array is this is the first card, this is the first card. So that's showing. But that array is gonna show for all of them, no matter on what card we are on right now. It's always gonna show that array, the first one. Since we're obviously only mapping over that, if we map over the second array, we'll would show this. What we wanna do in our case, we wanna map, like if we show the first card, we wanna map over the first array. So this, if we click the button two, and we show the second card, we want to map over this array, and same for the third card, we want to map over the last array. So we can uh, accomplish that by passing a simple prop, and if we go back to card, let's delete this title for now, we don't need that. So instead, <clears throat> instead of our title here, we can call this like card, uh, let's say card index. And we can copy paste this here and here. And the first one is going to be zero, the second one is going to be one, and the third one is going to be two. So this is this simple prop is going to allow us to map over different arrays depending on which card we're on. So if we're on the first card, we want to use this number. If we're on the second card, we want to use this, and on the third one, we want to use this. But let's just set this to a uh, actual number and not a string, that's my bad, so just change this like that. Now inside our card, we can use that card index as a prop. So right now what we are doing, we are mapping over second array every single time for each card. But, since we passed a different card index to each of them, we can use that instead of hard coding this number here. So now, <clears throat> sorry, now it's if we are on the first card, it's gonna map over zero. So it's gonna be data and this card index is zero if we're on the first card. If we're on the second card, card index is one. So this is gonna be data one, which is the second array here. And for the third card, we have card index of two, so this becomes data2.map, which is, this is 0, this is 1, and this is 2. So if we click 2, this is second card, second card. So we're mapping over the first array. If we click number 3, this is third card, third card, as you can see here. Because we are mapping over data2, which is, this is data0, data1, and data2. So now we have a global card component and we're mapping through three different arrays depending on which card we're on right now. And the, the only thing we needed is one prop for the card index and one state that's gonna keep the keep the track of the active card, so which we can also change once we click the button. And there you go, you can render different card components with different props or in our case, we have different different arrays we want to show and map through them. But also, if you guys don't need something else, you don't need to render the same component like this. You can, like, if you had a component called form, you can render form here. If you had a component called about, you can render about here. It doesn't need to be the same component. But just for this example, we want to show the same card with different props. And that's how that works. And we didn't need to use React router or anything else. So we needed it's a single state and we got everything. So that would be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it and learned something new. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.